Gate set in a teaser. Welcome to another story time with one man. This story right here is a story that most people don't even know about that hang with us. That hang with me. Most people never even heard this story. And I done told people this story throughout the years, but people not even gonna remember. It's not even really important. But this story is called, I'm gonna name this, When Me and B Lock Got Interrogated for Murder. All right, we going back to, this was around 2000, maybe 2009, around that time. Around 2009. I'm not exactly sure the exact date, but it's around 2009. And we was leaving, we was on Lehman Parkway in Virginia Beach. We were leaving this club called the Okie Doke, Okie Dokie but we just call it the Okie Doke, right? And it was by the Flame 2, like the second Flame. The Flame was somewhere else, but the Flame 2 was right beside it, right? And everybody was there partying like always, every week, whatever day it was. But my peoples was having a selling party, right? In 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 a neighborhood called Twin Canal. And Twin Canal is right up the street. So a selling party, for those that don't know, that's not from around here, is really like a bootlegger. But you can really do it throughout the day, but most of the time people go at night. So people will be selling liquor, beer, uh, fried chicken and fries, uh, fried fish and fries, fried shrimp and fries, really whatever, whatever they sell. And most of the time it's just chicken and, and fries, but sometimes you'll get the, the fish and fries and shrimp and fries and stuff like that. Or people might be making hamburgers and fries. Uh, whatever, just making money. Plates might be $5, $6, $4, whatever. You know what I mean? Depending on what you get. So, and people would do that all throughout the day. I ain't been to a good selling party in years either. I don't even hear about people having those no more because a lot of shit will go down at selling parties, man. And then most of the time, I'm going to say 80% of the time is going to it's going to be in, like, hoods and shit like that. From Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Chesapeake, wherever. You know what I mean? Anyway, so we leave the Okie Doke. This is not going to be a long story. We leave the Okie Doke. I remember I was driving a red Honda two-door. This, that's the only reason I even remember it was, like, around 09. You know what I mean? So we, we leave in the Okie Doke. Me and B-Lock. B-Lock is in the passenger seat. We pull out the Twin Canal. It's in the first court too, like when you leaving off Virginia, I mean when you leaving off a of, uh uh what's that? Uh uh Lane Haven Parkway. You turn right in there. Turn to the first court. So as soon as I turn in the first court, right? This is no lie. I mean, I don't even gotta say that y'all know I ain't lying. I don't even make up stuff. I do it to the best of my ability. But I gotta make it a little bit longer because the story is really short. So I pull in the court. I see my cousin, D-Block. Y'all know her as Jessica Miles, if you know her, but it's my cousin. Her dad is my cousin. And I see her on a, sitting on a curb. This, oh yeah, when we leave the club, you know, Virginia, because like selling parties be like after hour spots. So we left the clubs like around 1.30, like in Virginia Beach. And this area, seven cities, whatever, clubs close at like 1.30, whatever. Bars and all that, two of the latest. You know what I mean? So it's like close to two in the morning. I see Block sitting on the curb. I'm like, why is she just sitting on the curb? And, and the selling part is like right across the street where she at. But she just out there sitting on the curb. I wonder if she remember this. So I'm, I, I'm pulling up. I think I say something out the window like, Block, what you? I say something. I can't remember. It was so long ago. But I just remember her sitting on the curb. Next thing you know, we just surrounded with all type of guns pointing at us. Get out the car, get out the fucking car, get out the car. Ask me like my line, if, am my line. We just surrounded, like what the fuck? There's nothing you could do. So if, if it was people like trying to rob us or kill us or shoot whatever, it's not, 
There's nothing we can do. Nothing. Luckily, we won't none in the car, though. But they tell us, get, I'm talking about we ain't even parked. We in the middle of the court. Get out, get out, get out. They take us out. I don't remember if we was on the curb or whatever for a long time. I don't know if I parked the car or they parked it, whatever. No, D-Block parked it. Matter of fact, D-Block parked it because I remember she told me. That's crazy. It's just popping in my head that she told me she had parked, parked the car and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Anyway, they make a long story short, they take us to, to the police station or wherever they took us. They took us to a station, whatever, or a jail. I don't know. It was a station. I can't remember. It was so long ago, and it was... The story is really not even important. I'm just making it sound better than what it really is. So they got me in a room, and I guess they got me locked in another room. I, they got me locked in another room, but at the time, I'm just guessing they got me locked in another room, right? So they were like, as us about a murder that happened in that same neighborhood out twinkling out, because they be having like, people be getting killed out there. I don't, people be dying out. I don't know what be going on out there, but people do be, you know what I mean? And this was a while ago. So I'm, I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. That's why I'm talking about this, because I have no idea what they were talking about. I'm like, murder? What? You know how you're supposed to ask for your lawyer? But when you really just have no recollection, not not even recollection, because that means you will remember, but when you have no idea what they're talking about, you kind of want to know what they're talking about. Like, what are you? Like somebody got killed out there. You know what I mean, the car matched the description, uh, and we followed y'all from from the Okie Doke, whatever. They, I remember they told me that they followed us and then stopped us and stuff like that because the car was used in the murder. That same exact type of car. Like what? Well, so then they was like, "Can we do a GSR on you?" I was like, "GSR." They were like, "Yeah, gunshot residue." I was like, "Oh yeah, go ahead." I was so like, so happy and willing to give them my hand for them to do them little dot things on my shit to see if I had gunpowder residue on me. Gunshot residue, as they say. And, of course, I didn't because we ain't have nothing to do with nothing. So I remember they was letting us go out the room, whatever, whatever. They was going to make it seem like they was releasing us, and I seen b you know what I mean? And b later told me, like, he said the same thing. He was like, uh, he asked for a lawyer. I think he would say he asked for a lawyer or something. So it don't matter because we ain't had nothing to do with nothing anyway. You know what I mean? So I know I remember them letting him leave. I don't even know how he got home to this day. And they was like, you can't leave. I'm like, why? They said I had a warrant. It was over for me. I was like, warrant? I was like, so we ain't do nothing. We ain't had nothing to do with no shooting, nothing like that. And y'all gonna keep me for a warrant. So y'all ain't even earned me. I would tell them that I was like, y'all ain't even earned me. Like, y'all didn't even do nothing to get me. And I had, like, a little warrant, whatever. I ain't going to say what it's for. So I had to stay, and they locked me up. So that's my little story about when me and b Lock got interrogated for murder. I still don't know who I still don't know who died. I still don't know who got shot. I don't know who did it. What are these people doing on this construction? Anyways, that's it. Story time one, man. Y'all check out my other story. Oh, my story I'm going to do next is, see, look, they, they got it wrong, man. These people about to hit us. My next story is going to be about me punching my friend's mama boyfriend in the face, knocking him out. Gate set in a teaser.